so cute. Am I ready? I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first ever vlog. Ah! I'm Becca, I am the owner and knitter of Positively Cozy. Uh, my little business is dedicated to making cute things and fun colors for people that are just a little bit nerdy like myself. You might know me from my other social medias, um, TikTok, maybe Instagram or Facebook. I spent the past couple of years making a lot of short form videos and stuff, but here I am trying YouTube. This is my first ever vlog. The Anime Iowa Artist Alley is actually the thing that inspired me to start my business in the very first place. I was casually just walking around with a friend, looking around, and she was like, do you think you would ever make things like this? And I was like, I don't know, maybe. Um, and I was really inspired. I don't watch a ton of anime, and when I do, it's not the things that are the most popular, so I've never been quite as drawn to fan art as most people are. I, I preferred more like generically cute things. I wanted to make products that would appeal to people that attend anime conventions, but not necessarily for people that are specifically into anime, so that's why all of my hats, gloves, all of our plushies and everything are entirely original. We often like to do things that are inspired by other stuff, like this is my little Duolingo L. My mom is the one that crochets all of our plushies. And I knit all of the hats and gloves. We have a ton of fun doing it together, and we really love selling anime conventions. I have focused more on my online shop recently, because it's there all of the time, and we don't like to travel far away from the Midwest for conventions, and with the type of handmade items that we make, we can only do so many a year without running out of stock. I wanted to make this vlog because this is a big year for me vending at Anime Iowa. I've vended in the Anime Iowa Artist Alley in the past. I designed a giant new booth this year. I booked a double space. It's got a 16 foot by 10 foot space. And so we're bringing an extra table. I bought a bunch of the grid panels and everything. And I I spent so long, especially like in Procreate on my iPad, like trying to design different ways to set it all up to make it all work with all of my products. My mom, very thankfully, has gotten really into 3D printing as a hobby lately. And so that's been an incredible resource. And we've designed a lot of really cool things that I'm excited to show off that she's printed and that we've designed together. I'm really proud of everything that I've put into the booth this year, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. Today's currently Wednesday. We are leaving tomorrow on Thursday for setup day, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are the selling days for Anime Iowa, so I hope it goes well. I knew I would need some caffeine today, and so I spent the first bit of my morning drinking an iced coffee. Hey, coffee. And spending the last few precious moments with Harper and Ziggy before we headed off for the weekend. All right, the truck's all loaded up and we are ready to go. Anime Iowa is only a few hours away for us. Um, my mom and I love chatting and listening to music on the way there. I always seem to forget how beautiful this hotel is and how much I love showing up. Anime Iowa is the first convention I ever attended, so this convention center really is just like home to me. We love showing up early on Thursday so that we can take our time loading in, doing some setup, and just getting a chance to relax a bit before the busyness of the weekend starts. There's a bar right outside the hotel that we like to go have lunch at that has some really tasty sandwiches that will fuel us for setting up our booth. All right, I think we've got a lot of the bones up. We just put all of the grid pieces together, mostly. It's looking good so far, I'm excited. So we got locked out of our room because the thing on our door died. So we had to have someone come give us a new battery for our door. So that's fun, but we're gonna hang out, chill, and go swimming now. Swimming is great and all, but the hot tub was closed this year, so we were really disappointed by that. But after swimming and relaxing a bit, it was time to go out and enjoy the beauty that is the back patio of this hotel. The water in the back was actually flooded a bit this year, which was so cool to see. We could even hear a ton of fish suckling up on the water getting food, which I had never witnessed anything like that before. We were all pretty tired from a long day, so we ordered some noodles to the hotel room and decided to call it a night and get ready for our big and exciting first day of the convention tomorrow. Good morning! We all got ready way too early. It's uh, 8 o'clock. We yep. can't even start setting up until 9, but yep. here we are, awake, looking cute. We're gonna go load in our, our products. I love all of our Positively Cozy branded t-shirts, especially my husband's that says, I carry heavy things and bring food to Positively Cozy. Hi, Fembu Chan! <laughs> okay, I'm kicking myself just a little right now for not getting better clips of showing off all these hat and glove stands that my mom 3D printed for me, but you can kind of see them here. The arches snap on and off for easy adjusting and travel, and the grid hooks she printed have been amazing too. 
Are you talking to your plushies? I am. <laughs> Okay, I think I got all my hats and gloves set up. Um, I had a hard time fitting all of the chonky beanies here. Some of them are just squeezed behind the arches. I think it's looking really good so far. My mom's over here working on the plushy half of the booth. We've got the stickers set up. I've got some more bear hats. This one, this one's my favorite. I, I love this one. We've got all of our little kitty ghosts. I'm gonna angle him a little bit. Oh yeah. Now she's working on all the little plushies. These lights might be a little too excessive. I was so in love with this jumbo bear. My plan was to take him home if he didn't sell. Anyway, setup went really smoothly with everyone helping. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I worked so hard designing this booth, so finally seeing it all come together just gives me the warm fuzzy feelings inside. Also, this year I was super lucky to get to be booth neighbors with my friend, the beautifully talented, hardworking Atomic Kawaii. Sama in my Iowa is hosting a crochet along for a little Totoro plush, so my mom is gonna make me a jumbo one. So she's working on that now because we have a lot of time to kill before the artist alley actually opens. And now here I am, officially ready to start selling on day one. Would you like a bag? Okay, okay perfect. Is that cash or card? Card? It's my first time trying this new thing, so there it goes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you still filming or did you get your sale that you wanted? Oh, I guess I did. You got Pocky. I've got the cat toys that I'm handing out right here, and I've had this full, and I've given out maybe so like two bundles of these so far. There's been a lot of really cute cats with silly faces. I think things are feeling a little slow for a Friday, but the traffic's a little slow too. I think a lot of people are waiting until tomorrow to shop. I think that's pretty normal though. It's not tearing down from the artist alley if you don't realize halfway after walking back from the vendor hall that you left something that you really needed there. We usually have a lot of friends at the convention center on Friday night, but this year was a little more low key. There was a fire show on the back patio that was super cool to see, but besides that, we mostly just walked around a little bit before calling it early for the night in preparation for a long day of selling on Saturday. Good morning. We're in a little we're in a little bit of pain from all the standing and stuff <laughs> yesterday, but we're excited for day two. Yay! I got coffee at the hotel. I think we're all ready for day two. Things are looking pretty similar. I did put a chonky cat beanie up there now because I'm running low on the split color beanies and they're all just right here and people have seemed to be looking at them down here most, so. Maybe we can sell some more chalky beanies today. Mom is back here working on the Totoro crochet along. She got all the first parts done yesterday and today she's working on the body. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. He's gonna be big. I've gotten a few little gifts too. I got a little rubber ducky and this cute little crocheted star. I love it so much. All right, let's see if we can sell some cute things today. <laughs> Sold a jumbo strawberry shark to an artist alley friend. They're so cute. I love the big guys. Good morning. Want to show them a picture of your cat and get a free cat toy? Yes. I would love to see pictures of cats. She is the light of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two cute, two cat boys. <laughs> this is Matilda. Oh my god. <laughs> she will love this. She loves strings. Oh, perfect. Yeah. They definitely destroy them quickly, but it's uh, fun while they last. I can never get pictures of my cats together. They don't like each other enough. <laughs> they are gay and in love. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, there's a cat toy for oh them. Tony's gonna tear this apart. <laughs> Tony's gonna tear it apart. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, no problem. 
Yay, oh, they haven't turned that music so on. Today. Thank you. So do you. I'm sorry. What did you say to me? <laughs> wait, wait. What did you say to her? What? What did you say, <laughs> what did you, what did you say to me? I made uh, paw print coasters to match my booth for behind the table. And someone was asking if they could buy one. It's like, I, I wouldn't want to sell these. They were so much work. And I didn't really enjoy making it. They turned out really cute, though. My mom finished the body of the Totoro. He's going to be so cute. Someone was just handing out little drawings, and we picked these two out. They're so cute. Get in the vlog. Are you out of the entire row? You didn't put as many on each one as yeah, I did. Yeah, I wasn't sure how many you really did. I'm really glad I brought these hooks to the little cat toys on them. We got this really weird looking Shrek no, here. Weird ass dude. He smells bad too. And his beautiful, beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> My mom got some little Pikmin terrarium blind boxes and she got the two that she wanted. And look at how cute that is. She's putting the, t the second one together now. <laughs> and I'm happy. <laughs> the uh, squeaky paw keychains have been doing very good. These are the only ones that are left. Saturday's really picked up quite a bit. There were a few moments that were really busy, so that's been great. Uh, the strawberry sharks are doing pretty good. This is our last little red one left. <laughs> so we had a pink jumbo shark that wasn't a strawberry, but people have been loving the strawberry shark, so my mom's gonna rip his skin off, make it green, and give him spots so that he's a strawberry shark too. We've been seeing some really cool cosplays, like this one from How to Train Your Dragon. And then my friend and husband did these really fun plushy dad outfits. And then one of my friends came and bought a chonky beanie from me that looks so good on her. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We were just walking down the hallway when my husband pointed out to me the jumbo bear I loved so, so much was just here. hanging out in the bridge. All right, I took off my jacket, I took off my cat beanie, I switched to my regular cat ears, but I put a little bow in there and I am ready to have fun. After a long, hard day of work in the artist alley, it's always so great when we can get a big group of friends together to go out for dinner. We went to 30 Hop, which was just down the street from the hotel, and it was really, really good. <laughs> And now it's time to go have some fun. voice sounds like this. What have I done? Did I caramel dance in too hard? Good morning. I just got up. Uh, we stayed out hanging out with friends and everything and enjoying the convention until about 1.30 last night. I guess this morning. <laughs> um, I slept okay. My voice is definitely going away a little bit, but that's fine. We checked out the dance a little bit. Uh, we walked in and they were playing the Death Note song and that was really good, but then it kind of went downhill from there, but that's okay. Um, Anime Iowa, the best part is the patio out in the back by the water. Everyone just hangs out there, so we had just a little group hanging out. Uh, we met some really cool new people. It's always a good time hanging out at Anime Iowa. It's my favorite convention for a reason. Um, sales in the Artist Alley have gone a little differently than I've expected, but it's been fun. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of stock left over and I'm excited about that to put onto my online shop. Who knows, maybe someday we'll be super busy and everyone will decide to come by today, but I don't know, so we'll find out. I've never torn down the display that we have, our new display, so I don't know how long it's gonna take us to tear down at the end of the day today. I'm a little worried about that, but it'll be fine. I've got my mom and my husband helping and they're always really good at helping. So uh, we're gonna be open in the artist alley until 4 p.m. And I'm, I kind of feel like traffic's gonna die down by about like 1 p.m., but we'll see. 
Um, if everyone was up late partying last night, it'll probably be a slow start this morning. Maybe it'll pick up around one, who knows? Bringing our overnight oats as breakfast every day at the convention has been very smart of us. Well, an excuse to say, okay, we found a guy and hopefully this next- Let's go day three. I changed some things around with the booth today. Um, I put the scrappy beanies up here. There's still a few more over here. Just moving some things around. We still got one of these rainbow ones. I moved some fall gloves around. Um, all of the hats have kind of been connected to these two, at least the solid split and stripey. We've only got one split color hat left in my favorite colors. Um, so I changed this up quite a bit. I did have the skeleton stuff up here, but now it's down here and I put my very pretty rainbow winter bear beanie up here with the matching rainbow gloves. Um, some more chonky beanies over here because I thought these, I thought this chonky beanie with these matching gloves are super cute. More chonky beanies because I have way too many of them. <laughs> um, we still got our ghosts, some bear hats. Um, I put some a ghost and a jumbo ghost um, with a hat over here. Got a bunny. The one little yellow bunny. Um, this is the last jumbo cat. And yeah, it's looking good. Got my Monokuma cat on today. Mom's working on finishing the crochet along with Totoro. He's looking so cute. And we've got a little leaf that we'll put on his head. He's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Totoro is done. He's so cute. He's so big. Push it down, maybe. <gasps> you did it. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Double booth setup has been fun. So. Yeah. Well, my mom 3D printed like all of the like cans and like all of these hats are on like arches and stuff. It's it's been so incredible. And like, give me a second. The music's off again. Morning. Morning. Good morning. I love it. We got some little slit sprites from a Totoro cosplayer, and so we, we attached them to the little Totoro. Good morning. Good morning. I decided to show you the two editions we just got. Look at the cutest one. <laughs> Brother and sister named oh. Puppy and Taffy. I got them from my aunt, uncle. Oh my god, Taffy I love and Taffy. that. I love oh, yeah. there's a cat toy for them. Thank you yeah. so much for sharing. No <laughs> Like, I started following you and then after Anna, Ayla, you started following me and I was like, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I saw your prices. You can take your pick of which one you want to take a picture of. I'll look at them all, whatever you want to show me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cute. So precious. Well, here's a cat toy for it. Yeah, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Boogly, you've encountered a ghost. Sunday's going good. We are running out of strawberry sharks. We've got just these. These two strawberry ones left and we've only got one more after that one. Ghosts are going good. Selling some chonky beanies. Happy Sunday.
So we're just prepping to load out here pretty soon and I was looking at all of the tags I took off of everything that I sold and it's just actually kind of wild looking. I sold all of these things? Like, what? Anime Iowa is such a special convention to me that it's actually impossible for me to have a bad time. I set my goals pretty high this year with the new booth and everything, and in that regard things were a little slower than I expected, but I made more money than I did last year that more than covered the cost of the extra booth space, so overall I'm really satisfied with how everything went. I have a lot of wonderful products left over that I'm looking forward to listing on my online shop, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so, so much for watching my first ever vlog. This was so fun to make and maybe I'll do it again sometime.